What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? It's summertime, and the gaming is easy. Staying indoors, because gamers are pale. Do you nerd? Wait a minute. You put the lime in the coconut? What about the peel? Oh, hey guys. My name is Jacob Show, and you guys are watching Do You Nerd? Yes, nerdlings, it is summertime. This is the best time to play video games because it is way too hot outside, so you might as well stay in where it's nice and cool. Uh, although, that being said, we are out all the time because it's convention season, which is why we are a little behind on VGM. Just a sight. So, that's fine because that just means double boxes, so we get to uh, pit June and July 2022 VGM boxes against one another. So VGM Video Games Monthly, the retro gaming subscription service that sends gaming goodness straight to your door. You get to keep it. You pick out uh, the systems that you want for. You pick out which tier you want. I think it's like three, four, five, and 10, and they send you those games. You check them off on a list, what you already have, so you avoid those duplicates. So what's it gonna be, dear? June. You, you want June? Okay. June. All right. Let's do this. All right, all right. So I say we just open these up and, uh, you know, kind of uh, pit these against one another. Got a premium edition card and a normal card. Yeah, I got that stuff too. Oh, oh. One up over here. What, 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 what? I did not get a one up. Oh my gosh. But I did get Mighty Fight Federation collector's cards. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's cool. Might be some cool cards in there. We'll open those in a minute and, and see if there's anything we like. Yeah, well, my goodie is Hyrule Big Bucks. One million rupees. Ooh. Yeah, apparently when you get that high, they just turn into money legal tender instead of uh, the crystals. Well, it's kind of heavy the other way. All right, all right. Well, uh, well, I'm going to start with something small. So small, it's little. Chicken little for the Game Boy Advance. Hmm. Well, I got a Sega Dreamcast, and it's ready to rumble to box it. Oh, hey. The winner yeah. and still champion of the world. You know what? This was uh, this was like a pretty popular boxing game back in the day. I think I think it's that sports fist thing. The Dream only problem is. Tis, oh my gosh. It's broken. Throw it in the trash. You can't replace that. But it does come with the manual. <laughs> no! It's no longer a collectible. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, well, uh, I've got a fun little Japanese game here. At least I hope it's fun. The cover looks decent enough. Star. What do you think? Juster? Star Luster. Star Luster? Oh, that could be a whole different cover. <laughs> Sexy time. This is, uh, I guess, some kind of space shooter. I'm seeing energy. I'm seeing shields right here. Uh, my Radcom ing is all okay, so I should be good to go. I can see your shooty stuff and your lasers and your space. Because I got X-Men Legends 2 Apocalypse. Oh, Apocalypse. 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 And it's full too because it comes with oh, a big old heavy nice. manual. The Apocalypse has begun. We actually played through the X-Men Legends games on, was it PS2? I think I so, think? yeah. These were kind of forgettable to us because there were a lot of like large open areas that you didn't really have anything to do. But once we started playing the Marvel Ultimate Alliance games, yeah. I think those kind of won us yeah. over a little more. Well, this is cool because I've got a Super Nintendo game. Don't often see these. Cliffhanger. Oh, that's a rough movie to begin with. 
So you know this game is going to be bad. I don't mind that movie. Oh, uh, well, I think that you don't mind that movie for a different reason. Oh, yeah, a couple of shots of Sly just, you know, like go, flexing, go. hanging go, out. Go. Muscles out. <laughs> of course, which do you prefer? Cliffhanger or Ace Ventura's version of Cliffhanger? <laughs> If I were you, you'd be me, and I'd and be I your body to get to the top. To get you can't you stop can't me no stop matter who you are. Who you are. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've seen a little bit too much of uh, that. Just, just a little. <laughs> So do you want to match up my cliffhanger or do you want me to show my last game? Let me see your last game. Okay, well, making Captain Algebra proud, we've got a Genesis in case. Oh, no, no manual. manual. Never mind, never mind. We, we just made Captain Algebra sad. But we have hard driving. I'm already digging the uh, the course on here. <laughs> so a good little racer game. Looks like they tried to get some nice 3D effects in here. Looks like you got loop-de-loops. That's interesting. And some banked turns. So, you know, back in 16-bit days, that blew your mind, kids. Is that, uh, driving? It always cracked me up. That's the sound of the road. Just, uh, <laughs> Well, my last game is a sealed oh Lego movie game. Very nice, very nice. So, what did you think of the Lego movie? Was it good? Was it okay? Everything was awesome! <laughs> well, here's hoping that the game is just as awesome. Oh, wait. So it may not player. be. It is one I think player. that's why we've never played this Lego game. Too true. Because we didn't like the fact that it was only a one player game. How do you make like 5.8 billion Lego games of the series that are all co-op and then you put one out that's single player only? What's, I don't know. what's the sense behind that? That don't make no sense. You want to tear into these cards? Yeah, let's tear into the cards. See. See what we got. So Mighty Fight Federation was one of those uh, sweet premium edition games. And this is already cool because the back of the cards make a bigger image. Ooh. So any of you who grew up in the 80s, 90s that had to collect all those cards, all those blind card packs, just to try to get that full image, you know the pain. So it looks like we got uh, some character cards here. So I'm guessing some characters from the game. We have not played this game yet. But this is kind of cool. So you got a little bit of uh, nice. information about Fun them. Fun times. Those are pretty cool. By the way, I love these guys. Kuni, Kunio and Riki. Are these the same guys from the River City Ransom games? Or are they just modeled after them? Either, either they're rip-offs or they're guest appearances. I don't know. All right. Well, it's up to you, nerdlings, to decide which was the better box. I mean, June has the Zelda money and the one up. Plus we've got games all across the board. You've got Sega, Super Nintendo, Famicom, all the way down to little Game Boy Advance. Yeah, well, I might've only got the normal three, but I had an X-Men game. We had a Lego game and a Dreamcast. You very rarely ever see Dreamcast. This, this is Especially tough. where we are, you never, we never ever come across Dreamcast games here in the Midwest where we live. You've got some arguably very popular to collect for systems here with the Dreamcast, with the GameCube, and the Wii U always climbing in popularity. But then again, you've also got the lineup of classic plastic right here. Yeah, but mine is wonderful Disco Inferno games oh. here. <laughs> All right, so leave those comments not dead. down below if you've played any of these games. Which box you thought was a little better? Was it June? No, wait. Was it June or July? Don't forget, June came with Lady Lacey. And let us know if you think Disco is dead or not.
comments like notification and Abba will never see. die. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nerdlings, don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh because it's a beautiful website. And if we like it... We nerd it. And we dance it. I can still recall my last GameCube spinning all those discs. I love that you can do that. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. See you, nerdlings. What? I'm in frame, I don't know. I can mess with my nails if I want to. Yes, what are you doing? Stop it. <laughs> Can you get it? <laughs> Double. Wait, should should we do like a YouTuber face, like the guy? <laughs> <laughs> YouTube faces. No parents. They're dead. I don't remember the rest of that song. <laughs> Mine's all disc. Okay, ready? <laughs> I couldn't think of something off the top of my head. Ready? Take a little! This guy's not falling, he's falling.